Every year on Governor's Island, there's a competition to design a pavilion. And for the 2017 competition, I was lucky enough to be part of a team that won the competition. With competitions, there's always a lot of people that enter, and the expectation usually isn't that you win, it's that you're kind of working with the team and trying out experimental and interesting ideas. And winning is great because you get to then build the structure, but a lot of it's just about participating and, and trying out something new. The root of the project was sustainability and recycling, and so it was really exciting to see that happen. Part of the project was this ambitious idea of collecting waste, specifically aluminum cans. It was really exciting and it was really um, I don't know, inspiring, like how everyone like banded together to try and collect all these cans. At Hofstra we set up different collection bins on campus and students could drop off cans for the project that would then get melted down and we also worked with a number of Girl Scouts and elementary schools and different community groups as well. In the end we supplemented the cans that we collected with additional aluminum, aluminum ingot from Lancaster Foundry Supplies. So we found out that we won the competition in January and we then had until June 3rd to build the pavilion. So we, up until this point, had only built a small prototype that was eight inches by 10 inches, and now we had to build these panels that were each about 10 feet by a foot and a half. I had a student, Saida Menzor, who was doing research with me, and she was testing out how different clays crack and how we can get the crack pattern that we needed to, to ultimately make these panels. This experience was challenging because um, whatever I have learned uh, uh, on my other courses with Dr. Siegel, I had to implement those on my research and so I had to work on it on my own. I had to go back and forth and find, uh, I, I had to solve a couple of problems. It was really interesting to see a bunch of different people, a bunch of people with different backgrounds come together and work on this project. At the end of it, I got to go to Governor's Island and I got to see um, the pavilion up and it was really exciting to, to be a part of it and go out into the world and see something that I helped, you know, bring to reality. As the light comes through, you get different shadows, you get different reflections. There are spiders building spider webs through different components, so it's really become you know, this thing that's in nature. One of the things that I really enjoyed about this project was we got to see the more artistic and creative side of engineering. Um, there was a lot of math, there was a lot of testing that went into this, but at the end of the day, this pavilion was beautiful. It had a deep meaning at its core, but it was supposed to resonate with people artistically. 